Red Luang is a secret boss located in Black Myth Wukong's Chapter 1 that most players completely miss out on. But that's because to face this boss first you actually need to find a secret item in Chapter 2 then bring that back to Chapter 1 to unlock this encounter. Here's how you do it plus some tips on how to actually defeat this powerful secret boss. So to start you'll need to have access to Chapter 2 specifically you want to head to the area where you fight the Rat King's giant son, the Rat Prince I think he's called. So in this area there is a large clay or red colored wall with painted figures on it that looks a little bit suspicious and can actually be broken through the middle of in a few different ways. Now the easiest way by far is to equip the Wandering White Spirit and use his headbutt attack to smash through the wall. Now apparently the Rat Boss that you fight here can also break through during your fight with him if he charges the wall and you dodge out of the way just in time, though I wasn't able to test this method before defeating him. Either way though, smashing through the wall here is going to give you access to this secret area which has a chest that contains a key item called Luang's Scales. This is exactly what you need now to unlock the secret area back in Chapter 1, so head there next. Back in Chapter 1, you'll need to go to Forest of the Wolves in the area called Outside the Forest and head towards the back of the zone where a large waterfall is located. After clearing away any nearby enemies, you'll then be able to interact with the water and use the scales you obtained earlier to evaporate them and gain access to the secret passage behind it. This opens up a beautiful new environment, and this is the location for Red Luang, the powerful dragon boss that is a secret encounter. And depending on your level at the time that you get here, it can actually be a pretty challenging fight. So a couple tips here to help with that. First of all, many of his attacks do shock damage, so you can use the shock quelling powder medicine to make those attacks do less damage overall. You also need to watch out for his distance charge attacks, which are relatively easy to dodge as well as his quick claw strikes once he gets into melee range. Those are very fast, so those can be harder to dodge. But essentially the best strategy I found was to try to punish him while he is in melee range of you and especially after you've dodged those initial claw strikes. Just hit him with a mix of light attacks as well as charged heavies to do as much posture damage as possible. You can also immobilize him at this time to help you land a fully charged heavy attack. And after doing this one to two times, he should stagger and fall to the ground, at which time you want to circle around behind him and target the jars located on his back. Now a light attack chain here is just fine and if you land all of your attacks while he's in this vulnerable state, you can actually destroy one of those jars for massive bonus damage. From there you basically just rinse and repeat this process, destroying a new jar each time and that actually does make the fight relatively simple. So this is the first dragon type enemy you can face and they do get progressively harder from there, but for winning this fight you'll get some crafting materials that can be used to upgrade your staff in the future. You will need some additional items for that as well, so keep that in mind. But hopefully you found the secret boss guide helpful. There's plenty more Wukong guides on the channel if you want to check those out in the description below, or just hit that subscribe button for more guides in the future. And thanks again for watching.